This week we've got a single action revolver from Heritage Manufacturing. Now, Heritage has kind of a niche in that they are able to put together good safe guns that are reasonably accurate and, and uh, strong for the job, but they're quite a bit less expensive than the typical single action revolvers on the market. So in this particular case, we've got a Rough Rider 6.5 inch barreled 22 long rifle gun. Now Heritage does make uh, switch cylinder guns, convertible guns, 22 Magnum, 22 long rifle as well. This particular one is just 22 long rifle chambered. And the, the cylinder itself is steel and the barrel is steel. In this case, you've got uh, more or less a blued finish on the barrel and a Cerakoted gray finish on the cylinder. The, the, the ejector rod uh, housing is also Cerakoted gray and the hammer is Cerakoted gray. Now one of the things that sets the Heritage Rough Rider series apart from other single action revolvers is the safety located on the left side of the recoil shield. When it's in the up position, it covers up a red dot on the frame. So that's its, that's its uh, safer uh, non-firing position where the hammer, when it strikes it, cannot contact the firing pin. But when the gun is, and this gun will we'll just check, we'll open the gate and we'll run it around and check all the chambers to be sure that it's clear. And I'll close the gate. I'll pull the hammer all the way back. And then to fire the gun, if I fire the gun in this position, the hammer will drop, but it doesn't contact the firing pin. But if I pull it back and then flip down the safety, I've, what I've done is exposed a red dot on the frame there. And that then allows the gun to, to fire normally. As soon as I push that safety up, the hammer, you'll notice, comes back away from the frame. It makes a gun that's already a basic and simple design mechanically simple and relatively safe, even safer. I think these guns would be ideal for teaching kids uh, on, on shooting handguns you know, for the first time because basically you've got uh, the fun factor of some of these adornments that you're not going to see on, on standard uh, semi-automatic pistols. And you've also got the built-in safety and sort of the, the fun factor of the cowboy uh, era relationship. But you've also got the built-in safety of having to, once the trigger is pulled and the hammer drops, you have to cock that hammer each time. So it builds in that deliberate uh, sense of operating a mechanism that I think is good for kids to learn before they advance onto things where the mechanism is kind of doing more things on its own, self-loading designs. Uh, Heritage really, uh, again, ha ha occupies a niche that, that nobody else really has. It's a made in USA product. It's a relatively economical product. Uh, a lot of options are offered with regard to barrel lengths. Uh, sights tend to be pretty simple, a uh, notch in the frame and a, a blade type sight just like on the old uh, Colt 1873s or Colt single actions. Uh, and of course you do have uh, a means of, there's a, a, a lock for the base pin, the base pin can be pulled out, the cylinder can be removed for proper cleaning and that sort of thing. Uh, it has the appearance of an older gun with the side plate and the screws, but of course none of that needs to be removed to, to field strip the gun. The Heritage Rough Riders are, you know, they have a place. Uh, they have, uh, they occupy a niche in the market that I think serves, you know, your, your trapper, your small game hunter, uh, your first time shooter, uh, somebody that wants to, to have fun and go out and plink. Uh, you know, these guns will help you do it. For more on Heritage Manufacturing, visit heritagemfg.com. And for more Gun of the Week reviews, visit AmericanRifleman.org.